comfort and control are always super important. Here's a quick summary of 5 settings that can potentially be used to improve your overall finesse and impact in your games. A tried and true standard of most games nowadays, control groups are as important as ever. For most heroes cases, this falls down to having one assigned for the main hero and one for the courier, allowing swift control between both entities. Should you be playing a hero that has to control multiple units, be it Lone Druid, Brood Mother or Arc Warden just as an example, it very quickly becomes in your best interest to make sure your keybinds for control groups are set accordingly. Luckily for Dota 2, it's swift and easy and you can bind the groups to almost anything on your keyboard for ease and comfort. Take your micro gameplay to the next level and get comfortable with your homemade control groups. Quick cast truly is such an important feature in Dota. Having covered more in depth on this channel already, it still bears repeating that learning to control quick cast and making the most out of it really will see a significant boost in your proficiency as a player. This isn't just on micro heavy heroes either. Many supports in particular will have a point and click stun that can become just a bit faster if you make the transition to using it. If you're still on the fence about quick cast, I can't recommend it enough. It takes a bit of time to get used to and get a hang of it, but to say that it's time well spent is just a bit of an understatement. A fairly basic thing for most games is to reorient yourself to the most important thing in your game of choice. In Warcraft 3, that would be your town hall, where workers spawn from. In Dota's case, it happens to be the character you control, your hero. This is important because it allows you to pan your camera around on the map, use the minimap and generally get a better view of the playing field, and instantly get back to your hero by double tapping your hero button, which happens to be 1 by default. This trick also comes especially in handy early game by centering the hero. Simply double click your hero button twice and use it to help you block creep waves. This should make the act of doing so significantly easier for you on average. The news choice of this video. Directional move is very specific, but it certainly has its uses all the same. Are you the kind of player that likes to play heroes that require pinpoint precision sometimes, yet you find it incredibly annoying that you can't always achieve it? Directional move might just be what you're looking for. By assigning a button to it in your options tab, you can now hold down the assigned button as you're moving and a hero will go straight towards somewhere without acting around pathfinding. This causes the hero to stop as soon as it collides with anything. While certainly very specific, there are a few heroes such as Slark and Mirana just as an example where this kind of movement setting can be such a relief. Have you ever tried a scenario where you played Slark and your palms went all over the place? Or you did a Mirana leap and the direction it leaped got you killed? Assigning a directional button like this can prevent such a mistake in the future. Something I see surprisingly often, even by high level players, is that many of them move their cursor down to buy their items as they're lading, often missing out on denies and last hits by doing so. Dota's quick buy function is easy and fantastic and you can remain focused on the task of lading to your fullest by making it second nature to use it as you're playing. By having a quick buy button assigned, you can press the designated button as soon as you've queued up an item and then the item queued up furthest to the left will be purchased. Use this in combination with your courier keybinds and you'll get shopping and delivery done in such a swift fashion it's almost criminal. Thanks for watching this week's video. I hope these 5 steps were helpful and that some of them might be able to improve your Dota life. Have you got any special keybinds you think are worth mentioning or options you find nice or even mandatory? Let me know in the comments. You can catch my live stream at twitch.tv slash fabkubashi. The Dota 2 player base is quickly heading towards a million concurrent players yet again, so let's refresh ourselves and get ready to fight. Good luck with your matches.